Hello dear students, today we are going to complete unit 10, the grammar lesson reported speech. But before we go on, we have exercise 1 in your workbook, page 109, just to revise the vocabulary that we took before. Uh, complete the sentences with these words, apprenticeship, attendant, construction, degree, and industry. Could you please try to put uh, these words in the suitable places? Let's see the answers. When he left school, my brother Hassan got an apprenticeship with a large construction company that builds hotels around the, world, the country. He likes his job very much. My sister Layla has a degree in engineering and she has a good job in the car industry. In fact, her company makes the best cars. My younger sister is still at school. She wants to travel around the world and she says that she wants to be a flight attendant for a big airline. Okay, let's see the reported speech. Why do we use the reported speech? We use it to inform somebody of a speech or words said before, but in an indirect way. So that's why we call it indirect speech too. I myself used to call it snatching. Let's see how we transfer the direct speech into indirect speech. First, we start by the statement. Example number one, Sama said, it's a wonderful play. It would be, Sama said that it was a wonderful play. Can you spot the changes here? Number one, what happened is that we omitted the two inverted commas and we put that instead. Also, we changed the tense, which is is, verb to be in the present, into was, verb to be in the past. Okay, Exa example number two. Omar said to me, I want to visit the Egyptian museum. Okay, let's see. Omar told me that he wanted to visit the Egyptian museum. So what happened here is that we changed set to into told. Okay, look at the inverted commas. We omitted them and we put that instead. I, as a pronoun, changed into he because the speaker here is Omar. Omar takes the pronoun he. Okay, concerning the, vi uh, the verb, want is present so when we step back it will be wanted to visit the Egyptian museum this one you're going to help me with it so step by step we're going to analyze and say the answer Omar set to will change into told okay concerning the two inverted commas we're going to cancel them Okay, what do we put instead of it? That, or it's okay. That is optional, by the way. Um, I, as a pronoun, it refers to Omar. While he was speaking about himself, he says I. But if we transfer or report his speech, we must change I into the speaker's pronoun. So the speaker is Omar, it would be he. Okay, look at wanted. Wanted is a verb in the past tense. Step, if we step back, it will be had wanted. And this is the past, past perfect simple. Okay, is he speaking about my grandma, uh, grandpa or his grandpa? Is Omar speaking about my, mine or his? I think he's speaking about his grandpa. So this way we are going to say to visit his grandpa yesterday is not suitable at all to put yesterday when reporting what was said because maybe you reported this speech after two or three days or many days so this way yesterday is not suitable at all that's why we change it into the day before let's see the changes in the tenses from the direct tenses into the indirect sentences. Present simple will be past simple. Present continuous will be past continuous. Past simple or present perfect simple will be past perfect simple. 
past continuous and present perfect continuous will be past perfect continuous will can may would be would could might concerning must it's a little bit different we have uh, must as a rule like saying for example i'll give you some examples he said uh, you must park in the parking area so this way it's a rule there will be no change so we're going to say he said that i must park in the parking area we're not going to change must the only change here is the, the pronoun we changed uh, you into i because he's speaking to me let's go to must as future obligation and give an example she said i must finish my project tomorrow so when we change it it will be she said that she would have to finish her project the next day or the following day concerning must for the present obligation she said i must study for the exam and when we change it it would be she said that she had to study for the exam this way the present obligation it would be had to must for present deduction uh, we're going to give an example he said it must be so hard for you to train every day so when we change this uh, one which is the deduction we must say he said that it must have been so hard for you to train every day secondly we have the table of the changes that happen to the adverbs or the demonstrative uh, pronouns now then at the time today will be uh, today or tonight today will be that day tonight will be that night ago will be before at the moment will be at that moment here will be there last will be the previous or the week or month or year before or the last yesterday the day before the previous day the last day yet will be by then the day before yesterday will be two days before the day after tomorrow will be in two days time this will be that these will be those tomorrow the day after the following day the next day next will be the space after this means that if we put week it will be the week after if we put year it will be the year after uh, or the following year or week or month or the next week or year or month there are some exceptions that uh, makes us never change the tense like when we speak about firstly we speak about the facts while reporting any fact we must keep its tense as it is which is the present simple like saying he said the sun rises in the east this is the fact so he said that the sun rises in the east the same if the speaker said these statement or uh, uh, this question uh, a short time ago and uh, we can you know that this was said by a short time ago by some expression like said a moment ago said a minute ago said a short time ago said just now he said a moment ago that he will travel number three if the verb here is say or says in the present form this means that we will keep the same tense of the sentence like saying he says i don't finish my homework so when we change it it will be he says that he doesn't finish his homework the only change that happened here um, for the pronoun because we changed i into he we must change do into doesn't because this way we're going to uh, put the uh, match the pronoun with the verb suitable for it and uh, this way we can not put he with don't with the second and third conditions she said if i were rich i would buy a car so this is second conditional when we write it in an indirect speech we say she said that if she were rich she would buy a car after i wish would rather would like it's time had better we never change the verb after them so he said i wish i had a car he said that he wished he had a car okay let's go to some uh, sentences or uh, some hints that you have to know these cases are special cases like when we say i'm traveling tomorrow tamir said tamir said sora 
so here Sara is addressing Tamer so when we change it it will be Sara told Tamer that she was traveling the day after okay number two I don't like history I want you to explain it to me said Sara if you look at the two sentences there is a full stop between them so they are two separate sentences so when we report them we say Sara said that she didn't like history instead of putting the full stop we say and added that or we can say and that she wanted me to explain it to her Safe said to me if I were you I would see a doctor this is if condition but what does it mean or what's the purpose of uh, this sentence it's to give advice the same like should and ought to so when we see if I were you I would or should or ought to this means that this is giving advice so to cut it short we say save advised save advised me to see a doctor okay the last one which is number four Seth said to me let's watch the match and if we apply the same concept of uh, number three on this one so let's look at the purpose of the sentence and then we're going to see what to put here let's watch the match is to suggest an idea so we can see save suggested watching the match or in other words we can say save suggest that we should watch the match and they give the same meaning okay now let's go to another part which is the yes or no question or the form of question and we start by example number one do you like watching horror movies Sarah said to me okay so as you noticed yes or no question starts by helping verb to ask okay however if we want to inform somebody else we don't question him but we only report what was said so we must drop the question form because we are not asking we're just informing as in the example we must keep in mind that if it was a question we must use something to refer to a question and as we said we must drop the form of question how come let's see Sarah asked me if or whether so if and whether here are to to inform us that this is a question and then look at the tense since we have uh, uh, do this means that the tense here is present simple tense so directly we change the present simple into past simple so we say Sarah asked me if or whether I liked and as here you changed into I because Sarah is speaking to me why did we, cho we change you into I because the object of verb to uh, verb said here or said to is me top if the object here is uh, to him so this way when I change you I'll change it into he because the object is him but let's return back to this example Sarah said to me me is the object this way I must put I okay I liked watching horror movies let's uh, see the first change set to became asked the second change do as a helping verb for making forming a question or making a question it uh, will change into if or whether third change you will be I according to the object as we said of the verb set okay the fourth change which is like will be liked present change into past the fifth change question mark will be full stop because as we said we're not asking we're just informing 
okay as you can see of course we we have uh, some words that can be used instead of asked like wondered inquired wanted to know these are some verbs we can use instead of asked okay also put in mind that we spoke before about uh, say and says and we said that if we say if we see in the sentence say or says this means that we do not change the tense in the sentence the same goes with the ask and asks so we do the same with ask and asks we keep the questions tense as it is okay as for the wh question sorry before we go on did you like watching horror movies yesterday sara said to me sara asked me if or whether i had liked watching horror movies the day before so the whole things that changes in the sentence form or the statement form we apply it here in the question form two the wh question where are you going today sara said to me um the wh question it's uh, so close to the yes or no question rules but instead of putting if or whether we put the wh question word as you can see sarah asked me where i was going that day so what happened is that we put where as it is but we changed the form of the question into a sentence form because as we said in the yes or no question we are not asking we are just informing so let's see the first change will be set to asked changed into asked the second change what is followed by a subject instead of a helping verb this means that we changed the form of the question into a sentence form the third change you will be changed into i according also to the object after set to and if you look here what's after set to it's me me means i so that's why we changed you into i the fourth change are you going this is what was written which is present continuous it will be past continuous was gone change of tenses the fifth change today will be that day and the sixth change the question mark will be full stop at the end okay this is the question i want you to think about it and if you mind if you don't mind just send me the answer on uh, edmodo Okay, the remark here I asked Mona why they cancelled the meeting I told Mona why they cancelled the meeting what's the difference in meaning here okay let's open the workbook again just to answer the two exercises two and three in page 109 change what the people say into reported speech Number one is done for you as usual. And let's see number two. We didn't see the children leaving for school this morning. My neighbors told me. So it will be. My neighbors told me that we will be changed into. Because this is uh, we it will be changed into. Referring to whom? To my neighbors. So when we inform what they said, we're going to say they. So we change all the time into they. Okay, so my neighbors told me that they didn't. This is what, uh, what tense is it? It's past. So as we said, we step back. So it will be hadn't seen. Very good. Okay the children leaving for school this morning what's the change here is there anything to change yes it will be this this will change will change this into that okay 
So the answer will be my neighbors told me that they hadn't seen the children leaving for school that morning. Can you tell me your name, please? The interviewer asked me. It has two answers, actually. The interviewer asked me if I could tell my name, tell him my name. Or the interviewer asked me about my name. Have you got a degree in math or science? She inquired. She inquired if I had got a degree in math or science. Now change this reported speech into direct speech. This way we are going to do the opposite. Number one is done for you too. Maya's mother said that she had qualified as a doctor for five years ago. So Maya's mother said, hmm, don't forget the comma. Then two inverted commas, open the two inverted commas. She here refers to whom? Maya's mother. So when she speaks about herself, she will say, I. Very good. Okay, concerning had, had is past. But we have qualified, so this way it will be pa it's past perfect. So if we go a step forward, it will be past simple. So we're going to say Maya's mother said, comma, two inverted commas, I qualified as a teacher five years ago. As it is, because uh, I don't know why did they put uh, ago, it has to be before, but uh, ago has to be in the uh, direct speech. The police officer told the driver that they were sorry, but the road was closed. Okay, who's speaking here? The police officer. So the police officer said to the driver, comma, two inverted commas, they were sorry. Hmm. They he refers to whom? The police. So we are going to change they into hmm. we. Yes, we. The bo uh, what about where? Where here is past simple, and because it's past simple, step forward. It would be or. We are sorry, but the road was closed. Was it will be changed into hmm, is closed and then close the two inverted commas. Full stop and then close the two inverted commas. Hannah asked Iman if she was going to the book club that afternoon. Hannah said to Iman, "If here means that it started with." helping verb because this is a question okay and then what helping verb can we use she was going to the book club that afternoon was going this is um, present continuous so a past continuous sorry when we return it back to the actual words it will be present continuous so we are going to start by Hannah here will be I because she's speaking about uh, if she was going so it would be you because Iman is a girl and she here refers to Iman she's asking her if Hannah asked Iman huh? Are you going to the book club? That would be, we return back to its origin. Uh, it would be the, this afternoon. And then question mark and close the two inverted commas. Here are the answers. Okay. This is an assignment. You have a dialogue between Mark and Julie, and uh, I want you to change this dialogue into a reported speech. 
here is the form to help you in uh, converting the dialogue into reported speech okay this is the first assignment the second assignment is to rewrite the sentences beginning in the way shown he is giving you the first one the first one is done for you and then you are going to do the same with the others here are the answers after you finish check your answers please and thank you for listening goodbye